What's up backgammon fans, Mark Olsen here. In this video I'm gonna share an idea which has been brewing in my brain for several months now. I was trying to figure out the best way to explain this concept, so now I'm gonna give it a try. So the idea I want to talk about is what is the function of owning a point in backgammon? So here in the opening position each player owns four points. Here we own the 24 point, the midpoint, the 8 point and the 6 point. Um, so what's the function of, of a point when you own it? What's the purpose of it? Why is it good to own a point? So I was thinking about how to explain this because the, a point actually has a dual functionality. It serves two equally good purposes. So the first purpose is that it blocks your opponent from moving to this point. And especially if you can, if you can form a prime of points like this, then it's very powerful because you can you can trap your opponent's back checkers and win the game simply just by priming. So that's the first functionality of a point. It makes obstacles for your opponent simply so he cannot simply move free with his, especially with his back checkers, and uh, get his checkers home. The second functionality of a point is that a point serves as a safe landing space for the checkers behind it. So for instance, the 8 point here in the opening game, that's a safe landing spot for your checkers from the midpoint. And when your back checkers eventually get all the way around, it will be a safe place to, to land for those checkers as well. Not that we want to stack it, but maybe we're forced to stack it because we don't want to leave a shot. So this is an important concept uh, in terms of game plans, because later on in the game, you will often have the decision whether to clear a point or to keep a point. So then you can ask yourself, what's the purpose of this point? Is this point a priming point? Is it to block your opponent from moving to this point? Or is this point useful in terms of bringing my back checkers home as a safe space? If it isn't, if it doesn't serve any of the two purposes, then it's not an asset anymore. Then it's probably a liability and you should clear it. So this, um, or let me explain it another way. Early on in the game, in the opening position, let's go back to the opening position here. Both players have a long way to go. We've got 167 pips. So we are trying to form a prime. Let's say blue successfully forms a prime here. If blue is behind in the race, let's say white has an advanced anchor and he has moved a lot of checkers as well. Uh, let's say white has a position like this. In this position, white is actually ahead in the race. So, for white, the game plan is to run with the back checkers. He doesn't want to get stuck when he's, when, he's, uh, when he's ahead in the race. For blue, blue needs to prime because he's down in the race. So the purpose of all of these points here for blue is to block white from moving. And with the back checkers, the purpose is also to block. This is an anchor that tries to generate shots. For white, on the other hand, white doesn't need to block blue because white is ahead in the race. White simply needs to run and when he does, let's say he comes all the way home with these checkers here or he rolls a double five and he gets hit to here. Now these points here, they don't serve the function of blocking anymore. The points here on the eight, seven and six points, they now serve the function of safe spaces for these back checkers. But the moment that these checkers are safe, let's say they go here to the, the five point, now these checkers here on the 8 point, they don't serve any of the two purposes anymore. So you need to clear this point, it's a liability. So that's the next, that's the next thing white needs to do, he needs to clear from the rear, because it doesn't serve neither blocking or landing functionality. So this was a little bit philosophical, I hope this gave you some ideas of your own, and maybe it can help you to make uh, some better backgammon decisions. Merry Christmas! backgammongalaxy.com